what we're going to do here is we're taking these two solar voltaic panels. Each one is rated around 10 watts. And right now we have the noonday sun. It's almost straight up. So that's why we have the panels flat. And what we're going to try to do is see whether the output of these panels are feasible to run a pump to create a circulation in my oyster floats down here. And that if I can determine that the flow is significant, then I will build a manifold system that will actually take the bilge pump that I'm going to be running and use the output of these solar panels. And all of this will be actually floating out there. Uh, and what the circulation is for is that oysters will grow faster if they have water circulating over them. We're in a cove here that's dead ended, so the circulation is really minimal in here. I've been growing oysters for three years and they've been doing well, but I do know if I can get some velocity of water over top of them, two things will happen. It brings more food to them, but it also carries the waste away. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to avoid running a power system out to the float by using the solar. And uh, what's going to be nice about this is when there's sun, the circulator will run. When there's not sun, it won't. But it's not something that really has to happen every day. So these two panels are connected in parallel for a total of 12 volts. I actually did run the pump earlier, and it looked like it was putting out about 1.2 amps. It's a little less than what the spec is for the bilge pump, but it seems to be working pretty well. So let's go see how the output will work. What I do need to do is not stand in the way of my uh, panels there. Once I do get this started, I'm going to go ahead and time it, and we're going to be looking at the water flow over here as well. I have a five gallon bucket. I'm going to start my timer. And as you can see, we've got about two feet ahead here with the water running here, and that we're going to see how long it takes for this bilge pump in there being run by the solar power to pump the water up this height, which um, I'd say is about three feet, although the, you've got maybe a foot in the, in the bucket. But as the level goes down, it obviously will slow down. And it appears to be doing a pretty good job. I'm going to have to hold this pump down in here to drain the pump, the, the, uh, the bucket. Water's still coming out really good. Getting pretty close to the minimum level. Okay, that's it. One minute. Five seconds to empty the five gallon bucket, which I'd say is a pretty good success. Now, let me cut this off. We are doing this in, in a summer day, mid noon sun, so this is sort of an ideal case. However, from as fast as it's actually worked, I believe that it will still work as a, well as a circulator, probably with the sun uh, quite a bit declined in the sky. So right now it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and build my circulator, and I'll do some more filming uh, once I get my circulator built.